All right, so I've been getting a lot of requests and a lot of questions about uh, the certificate it being expired from the jailbreak videos that I have. And basically, there was like three ways, I believe. This was a long time ago. So there was like three different ways. One was using the impactor, and then there was like the whole one-year certificate, and there was the certificate where it's like every week or every other week you had to uh, renew it and all that. So basically, if you did the jailbreak on your phone and you were on 9.2 through 9.3.3, this is the way to reactivate it if your certificate doesn't work. And basically, uh, it's just a lot easier. Um, and yeah. Now, what I did to my phone, it's still jailbroken because you can see Sidious right there. What I did to my phone was actually just turn it off and then turn it back on like a full uh, shut down and restart it just so I can show how to re jailbreak or reactivate the jailbreak. Uh, so, anytime your battery goes completely dead and you, you know you have to recharge your phone, you're gonna have to do this. Um, you won't have the, the issue anymore with the certificates being an issue, them expiring, or you know, and you having to renew them and logging into you know your either your fake. Apple ID account to do the whole entire process of reactivating it or your real one depending on how you did it because there was several ways to jailbreak your phone so basically this is um, I'm gonna show you the easiest quickest way to reactivate the jailbreak and like I said this works only on 9.2 through 9.3.3 so you would have to have your j uh, phone jailbroken already this is just a reactivation not a full jailbreak uh, I believe you can still do the jailbreak like the other videos that I have on there. I believe it still kind of functions somewhat. But anyways, uh, so basically I'm going to first show you that I'm on 9.3.3. So let's go to about here. Down here we can see I'm on 9.3.3. And uh, so yeah, let me get out of here. All right. Like I said, my phone's already jailbroken, but the jailbreak's not activated. As you can see, the city icon is there, but it won't open. So if your phone has this issue where city won't open, you probably just need to reactivate it. A lot of people have that issue, and they think, you know, that they're, they have to read jailbreak from scratch and all that. That's not true. All you have to do is just reactivate the jailbreak. So in order to do that, it's very simple. Uh, you're gonna have to open up Safari, Let me get rid of this. So reopen Safari, and it has to be the normal Safari. It can't be private, the private um, Safari. Uh, it won't work on the private Safari. So some people I know have tried using it because I've shown my friends how to do this, and they had the issue where they were on the private Safari, and they were like, well, it says it's not available, the link is not available, or some kind of error message. You have to be on the normal Safari. And basically, let me click on here just to make sure I'm on the home screen. So you can go to Google, you can type in Pangu, or you can type in their uh, link, which is en period pangu.io. So you have to be on this page. If it's some other page, because if you type in Google, I believe there are like six different Pangu websites. And there's only one real Pangu website, which is this one. You know you're on the wrong website when there's a ton of ads everywhere. So if you're on a website and it has a ton of ads appearing left and right and all this other stuff, you're on the wrong website. There's no ads on this at all. So basically, here you can see this is the Pangu website. Here you can see this is for devices uh, 9.2 through 9.3.3. And they're 64-bit because I believe the last jailbreaks have been just 64-bits. They don't kind of come out with 32 anymore because, I mean, it's old devices. Um, so you can scroll down and then you can see like, you know, questions and all that and the answers that they have and all that. But if you just want to reactivate your jailbreak, this is super simple. All you do is click on download. Now that we're on download, here it tells you how big the download is and all this. Previously on some of the other videos, I had the same website and you would go and this is how you would jailbreak, right? And it even tells you right here what you would have to download, like the old method of doing it with certificates, right? but you don't need to do that anymore. All you do is you click on download and then you'll see this 
uh, messages say new way to reactivate your jailbreak no certificate required and uh, like I said this works on all the jailbreaks that had that certificate thing either the one year the like one week or a couple weeks or the other one so this works for all of them so it tells you it's a new way to do it all you have to do is click the link blah 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 so we click the link which is going to take us to this if you're on private you won't see this you, on private you can go to the Panga website but you can't get to this page it'll say it's not available right now or something like that so right here it basically tells you again it may take multiple, multiple tries it's only for 64 bit and yeah so a couple things to make sure that the reactivation works properly or to increase your chances of the reactivation working properly one try to close or I uh, you should close all your apps in the background. Don't have like 20 apps running at once and all that. Just close them all off. Make sure Safari is the only thing open. You don't have to, but it helps, <clears throat> you know, so your phone doesn't crash or doesn't. So it doesn't, you don't have to do this again and again and again. Uh, the other thing would be um, basically make sure, like I said, don't be on private. And I'll show you the other thing you can do. So you click go. It's going to say doing it and then it should pop up with a message right here. Huh. Click go, doing it. There we go. So for some reason it took three tries. I'm saying some kind of issue with the, with the website. But you'll see this message right here. All set. Close this alert, lock your screen to continue. See you on the other side. The other thing you can do to improve your chances is actually follow directions. I've shown this to my friends and I explained it how to do it, do it to them. And they'll read this and they'll still won't close this alert. You have to close this alert. It still works sometimes if you don't close it, but most of the time it doesn't. So you close the alert, then you lock your screen. And then we have to wait for like 30 seconds or something. So there you can see it's doing what uh, it did before when you first jailbroke your phone. But it doesn't always do that. Sometimes it just goes black. So if it goes black, it's fine. I mean, nothing really happens to your phone. You just let it reboot up and all that. So the things to remember, like I said, close your apps. Make sure you close that uh, alert screen. And there you can see I have my little special text because it's uh, re jailbroken. And there we go. As you can see, I have my jailbreak back on. Let me go to Cydia. And there we go. We have Cydia down here. And then you can, uh, I don't know if you can see, on the bottom it says that I'm on 9.3.3. And, you know, like, I could just do whatever I have to do in Cydia. Um, so, like I said, if your phone shows the Cydia icon but you can't open it, this will probably help you. It's like 90%, 95% guaranteed if you jailbroke it the way I had it on the videos. If you didn't jailbreak it that way, this, th this still may help you do that. Because it's basically, it's just kind of a quick fix. Um, if your phone dies, you you have to re, you know, re go to the website and do it again. Now, if you failed and it doesn't uh, work for you, basically close this off and then go back to the beginning of the Panga website where you click download and then reopen the link. Don't just refresh this because it won't work. Sometimes it does, but it's rare. So if it failed, don't refresh the screen and try to do it again because you're just kind of wasting time. At least for me, it didn't work out. It maybe worked one out of ten times or something. So all you have to do is just go back to the download page, click download, and so this reopens up a new fresh page. And uh, that's basically it. I mean, if you have any more questions, you can ask me. I'll try to get back to you, you guys. Um, I'm still waiting on the next jailbreak. I know they had the other jailbreak for the 10 point I don't know what it was, but it was kind of unstable and all that. And I honestly didn't want to upgrade my uh, 
update my firmware uh, the, the um, OS that I'm on if the jailbreak was going to be unstable and all that because I kind of like my little setup that I have right now and um, I have a bunch of little tweaks running in the background but that's why I didn't update so um, and actually this is my uh, this is my other phone I don't use this phone anymore this is just so I can access certain things on the phone because I have an iPhone 7 Plus and that one I think is on 10.0.1 or something so I'm just kind of waiting to, -jail, um, to jailbreak my iPhone 7 now and yeah um, like I said, any more questions, just ask me. It's super simple. Once again, all you have to do is uh, close all your apps, go to Safari, go to Pangu, make sure it's that website. Uh, I believe it's en period Pangu period io. Click on download, and then click on the little link, and then that'll take you to the message. Click on go. After you click on go, then you just close the message, that the little alert, and then you're... Uh, you're good to go then you just you know turn off your screen wait for it to reboot like I said I'm rebooting sometimes it may show you the whole entire me uh, message that the memory is full and then it shows the Apple logo sometimes my screen has been completely blank like just black it hasn't done anything uh, sometimes the reboot process has taken longer than what it what I had it right here sometimes it would take uh, under a minute like a little bit under a minute uh, I know time goes super slow if you just stare at your phone and it's black and you're waiting for it to pop up. So just be patient and uh, enjoy. And if you have more questions, let me know.